visual experience during cataract surgery. The producers have no financial disclosures. Irrespective of whether cataract surgery is being performed under peribulba, retrobulba, subtenon, or topical anesthesia, many patients experience a variety of visual sensations in their operating eye during the surgery. The main aim of anesthesia is to provide analgesia and akinesia. Analgesia allows us to proceed with the cataract surgery without causing pain to the patient and akinesia makes the surgery easier to perform. But there is a misconception that with periocular anesthesia there is no light perception but this is the case in only less than 25% of the blocks. So what happens to the rest? The depression of visual function is incomplete. The degree of visual suppression by the anesthetic agent depends on various factors. These factors are variations in the injection technique, volume of the anesthetic used, location where the anesthetic is injected and concomitant use of adrenaline and hyaluronidase. Patients undergoing surgery under topical anesthesia will obviously retain even better vision. Majority of the patients have some residual visual sensations which includes perception of light, movements, flashes, seeing one or more colors, different shapes such as circles, clouds and patches, seeing surgical instruments, the surgeon's fingers and changes in light brightness. So what are the stimuli for these visual images seen by each patient? They are probably due to hands, instruments, and topic phenomena, moving fluids and bubbles on the corneal surface and in the eye. Moving instruments in the eye, the constantly changing shape of the lens as it is being emulsified and the changing refractive state of the eye from phacic to aphacic and then to pseudophacic status. These probably produce the changing pattern of visual sensation reported by many of the patients. We as ophthalmologists provide our patients with adequate information about the surgery, its potential complications and perioperative management. However, the intraoperative visual experience receives little attention. A survey conducted by Thakir and others showed that a significant proportion of ophthalmologists do not have adequate knowledge of the visual phenomenon and their associated anxiety or fear that patients can experience during cataract surgery. Surgery per se is a stressful event to the patient. Recently it was reported that approximately 7% of patients under retrobulbar anesthesia and 15% of patients under topical anesthesia find their visual experience frightening. This is because the patients do not anticipate these sensations. They believe that anesthesia means total unawareness. But it is not. This added fear and anxiety due to these varying visual perceptions may cause some patients to become uncooperative during surgery, increasing the risk of intraoperative complications. This also triggers a sympathetic overactivity, leading to undesirable effects such as hypertension, tachycardia, hyperventilation and ischemic attacks. Yonghan and others described that when patients who had undergone fecomulsification under topical anesthesia were asked whether they would have preferred a periocular anesthesia specifically to reduce their ability to see during surgery, 29% of them had answered yes. Even when they were counseled in detail on the small risk of retrobulbar hemorrhage and glow perforation from retrobulba or peribulbar anesthesia, around 8% of patients were prepared to accept the additional risks and would still prefer an injection to topical anesthesia. These findings suggest that the intraoperative visual experience can affect patient satisfaction and some patients are prepared to take that additional risk just to reduce their ability to see during surgery. But how do we reduce the fear and anxiety due to intraoperative visual experience? First, by appropriate preoperative counseling, which can be done either verbally or with the use of drawings. We can explain that anesthesia does not cause total blindness and you will retain some vision and not to worry about those 
but rather enjoy the experience. Studies have shown that preoperative counseling on possible visual sensations during cataract surgery significantly reduced the proportion of patients being frightened. Several artists have recorded their visual experience during cataract surgery. Sketches like these could be shown to the patient preoperatively to explain the various visual sensations. This makes the patient aware of what lies ahead, thereby alleviating their fear and anxiety. Alternatively, we may reduce the ability of patients to see during surgery. One choice would be to use periocular anesthesia, as reports suggest that these reduce the visual function better as compared to topical anesthesia. The other option is the use of systemic sedation with midazolam. We did a prospective, randomized, triple-masked study to see the effect of intravenous midazolam on visual experience in phacomulsification under topical anesthesia. Patients were randomized into two groups, one with intravenous midazolam and another with intravenous normal saline following which they undergo the surgery with intraoperative vital signs monitoring. Vital signs were checked 15 minutes after the procedure as well. Questionnaires were given to the patient six hours after completion of the surgery. We found that the fluctuations in perioperative vital signs were significantly lower for systolic blood pressure, heart rate and respiratory rate in the midazolam group. Also, the overall visual experience was significantly worse in the control group as compared to the midazolam group. None of the patients had any adverse medical events. So once this factor is addressed, we can probably give the patients a Wonderland's experience and we can perform a comparatively safer surgery. Thank you. Have a good day.